Hello friends, this side Dr. Vandana Vijay and in my this video, I am going to tell you how we can run a simple C language program. So we will start with the introduction. C is a procedural programming language which was developed by Dennis Ritchie in 1972. Basically this language is developed from two other programming languages. One is the B and second is the BPCL that is Basic Combined Programming Language. It is mainly developed as a system programming language to write an operating system. The main feature of this language includes low level access to memory, a simple set of keywords and clean style. Many later languages they have developed directly or indirectly from this language like C++, Java, PHP, JavaScript and many others. So in this slide we can see the structure of a simple C program. The structure include first portion documentation in which we declare about the purpose of the program, then pre-processive directive session, link session, definition session, global declaration session. After that we have the main function that is the driver of the program which in return consists of two other parts. One is the declaration and second is the executable part. The declaration part includes various types of variables along with their data type and executable part includes all the statements that we have to execute. Finally, we have sub-program sessions in which we declare or give the definition of various user-defined functions. So now let us look an example of C programming language program in which we are going to find the area of a circle. So first portion is the documentation that will give the purpose that is the program to find the area of circle, author and date. Next session we are having link in which we have given some header files. The first header file is the stdio.h that is standard input output header file and second is the punio.h that is console input output header file. Thirdly, we have a definition session in which we have given a universal constant pi whose value is 3.14 we are going to use in this program. Fourthly, we are having global declaration session in which we have given a variable named as area with the data type float means that particular variable can hold decimal values and secondly we are given a function message. Next session we are having void main function that is the driver of the program which is having a variable in the declaration part named as r with the data type float and in executable part we are having a printf function, a scanner function then we are using the formula to calculate the area like again printf function then message function. The detail of message function is given in the last portion in which we are printing two sentences this sub function and we can take more sub function. Now let us see how we can compile and run this program. To compile and run we need a C compiler. So to set up a C language compiler in our computer or laptop we are having two, three ways. Number one we can download a full flash IDE that is integrated development environment like Turbo C or Turbo C++ or Microsoft Visual C++ which comes along with the C language compiler or we can use any text editor to edit the program files and download the C compiler separately. We can directly also use C language online compiler. So among these three choices we can use any one of them. Now here in this slide we can see the C language environment. The first step to run any program we have to open Turbo C IDE Integrated Development Environment. So for that we have to click on File and then we have to click on New Option. In the second step we have to write the program code to print any message like in this program we are printing Hello World message. So this in the blue screen area we have to write the program. In this program we have given two header files along with the main function in which we have given printf that is hello world we are going to print then get ch function then return 0 and we are ending the program. Third step we have to click on compile or press alt plus f9 to compile the program. To run any program first we have to compile it. The program will get successfully compiled if there are no errors in the program. If there are error then the particular compiler will show the error that particular line in which the error exists then we have to rectify the error and again we can compile and run the program. So to compile we have to use alt plus f9 shortcut key. In the fourth step we have to 
click on run or we can press control plus F9 to run the program so that we can see the output on the screen. So fifth step is display output and hello world will be shown on the output screen. In this simple steps with the help of these five steps we can execute any type of C language program. Thank you.